Hey guys, Alex the Garden Dude here. This is uh, my first video, which is pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update while I am feeding my worms in my vermiculture system. Uh, it's been a little while since I fed them. Um, I have them out on my patio right now and I'm in Seattle in zone 8B. It's a little cold out here, but um, I don't really have space for them in the house. I'm kind of running an experiment trying to keep them alive through the winter. And so far it's been pretty good. It doesn't really get too cold out here. Let me just go ahead and open this up while I'm blabbing. But um, yeah, so Seattle doesn't get too cold in the winters. Our winters are pretty mild. So let's see here. So I'm hoping to keep them alive. I've got some covering over here. So we got some worms. Oh, I got some worms. Oh, look at them going. They're like, it is way too cold for you to be opening this dude. What the hell are you doing? So basically, uh, yeah, I'm just going to feed them. Let me dig around here. I have my trusty trowel. Let's see, I fed over here last time. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got plenty of worms. Lots of activity. It looks like everything that I fed them has already been processed. Looks like there's a couple of uh, little pieces of like, I think some lemongrass that I put in here when I made some tea. Just kind of dig around a little bit more here, see what else we got. My worms in there. Sorry, I know the quality is lame. I'm working on my cell phone right now. I'm hoping to get a camera at some point soon. But like I said, this is just my first video. So yeah, it looks like they're thriving. I've been kind of worried since it's been getting kind of cold at night. It's been getting down into like the 30s, 40s over here. Mostly it stays in like the mid upper 50s during the day. But um. Yeah, they've been staying alive, luckily. Oops, I just threw some bedding all over the place. So yeah, so I'm gonna get them fed up. Um, my system for doing it, if you notice. Sorry, I have my outdoor uh, Christmas lights there. N, E, S, and W. North, South, East, West. I put little marks on my calendars with a worm and like this for the top that for that side down here below the W if I did on the south side or over here just kind of keep track of when I feed them per week and uh, I found it to be a pretty good system I like it a lot so basically I'm just going to uh, let's see I fed over here last time so I'm gonna feed up here this time I'm just gonna move some stuff around uh, aerate the bin get some oxygen going compost is looking great though I've had these worms since the end of September and it's now December 2nd 2018 and uh, yeah these guys have been thriving it's been great I'm looking forward to being able to harvest all this stuff this like uh, those worm castings and uh, put them in my garden which is right over here it's kind of the minimal garden everything's slowed down for the year I just kind of have my uh, no more annuals just my my garlic and then all uh, my perennials are just kind of sitting out here in my trees that are my little baby trees but I'll do another update of those soon sometime so yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and put this egg crate down here It'll be a nice little feeding table plus it's great for soaking up any excess moisture I'm gonna put some, I got some eggshells in here that I collect. Whenever I have eggs, I usually boil eggs in the morning for my breakfast, like every couple days. And uh, bake them for 20 minutes. Make sure you kill all the bacteria and stuff. At uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, yeah, and then you just put them in a mortar and pestle and grind them, or people have dedicated coffee grinders just for that. I'm gonna put some coffee grounds in here too. Got my jar of coffee grounds. 
this is good grit as well aside from the coffee I mean from the eggshells but I really like putting these in because coffee grounds actually heat up as they're decomposing and heating up is a little bit of a uh, necessity out here considering it's almost winter <laughs> let's go ahead and feed there we go. Big collab. Now, you don't have to do what I do, which is blend up. You've got some banana peel puree and some old spaghetti squash uh, shell over here, some rind. But uh, you don't have to mix them up. The ideal temperature for your worms is between 50 and, I think, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's a, like the sweet spot for them to, to, you know, do their thing and process food. Uh, preferably in the 70 degrees, that's closer, that's more ideal. Um, but since it's so cold out here, they take a lot slower to actually metabolize and break down all the food and everything. So I'm going to try to give them a little help. Plus, I don't know, I kind of like it to help make the bin feel a little, a little cleaner. So there's not so much like excess... Uh, peels and stuff and give them a little bit more more eggshells and the calcium in the eggshells actually helps to you know promote healthy sexual maturity for them and to reproduce uh something about the calcium in them that helps them you know kind of move along to start making babies uh, which is great because i've seen a lot of sexually mature worms in here which is fantastic considering it's been so cold and i've been kind of <laughs> worried about them uh, surviving out here overnight but yeah, they're still going. So now that we have this, I'm just going to go ahead and top it off with a little bit of bedding. Got some shredded newspaper, some shredded cardboard. I'm just going to throw that on there just to make sure that there's no excess moisture. I don't generally add water in here. I found that... uh just being really good with the bedding and making sure you bury everything pretty much works well with keeping the system in balance and keeping everything that it needs oops hello now i know some people might you know and i know a lot of a lot of people who uh run these worm channels on youtube they don't like using trowels they use gloved hands i don't want to really want to buy more gloves disposable gloves and then have to you know dispose of them kind of I feel like that moves away from the goal of being a little bit more zero waste so I just use my trowel if a worm or two gets skewered a little bit it's okay they're worms and there's plenty of them in there so you know they'll they'll definitely make up the make it up sorry I know the camera's a little shaky it's cold out here right now um and yeah so I mean you know I use the trowel uh, it's it's not that big of a deal. I just want to move stuff around quickly and not have to get all squishy and not have to, you know, buy gloves that I'm going to eventually just throw in the garbage after one use or whatever. So yeah, that's my update. Uh, I got these guys all fed. I probably won't feed them again for another two to three weeks. Like I said, they kind of move slow with processing the food out here. And I don't want to overdo it. I've already done that. And the system was like kind of overrun with maggots and flies and stuff. This is actually a two-tier system that I have set up here. Oops, hello. And this is my second tier down here. Oh, look, it looks like there's actually a little bit of, uh, a little bit of leachate that came down. Not much. It's actually the first time in two months. But I actually sprinkled a little diatomaceous earth on the bottom there because I had an infestation of ants that were just living down there. And as many times as I tried to get rid of them, they just kept coming back. So I think they might be in the actual bin or something just from being outside. Which is fine. They're not coming inside the house. Yeah, that's my, up, my update for today. Sorry for rambling a little bit. Again, this is my first video. So hopefully I'll get some more out soon. I'd like to do some more worm bin updates um as frequently as i feed them 
I only have this one bin at the moment. Hopefully come next year, if these survive the winter, I'll be able to split this bin and have two going. But I also have a third bin that I'm actually using for my bedding at the moment. But I'm going to stack that and use this as a three-tier system and have them migrate upwards once this bin is completely done. But I might still run another bin anyway just because I really like worms. And it's really cool keeping worms and it's really cool having them process all your like old food and stuff it's great it's you know cuts down a lot on the garbage you produce and it's just gonna all circle back right back into the system for all the food that you're gonna grow next year and eat and make it 10 times better so thanks a lot hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like the video uh, please subscribe i have more videos coming on the way i know um this is like i said my first um and so it's probably a little choppy comparatively to other standards <laughs> but yeah give me a like give me a subscribe here's a little bit of my my garden over here there's my garlic my strawberries and the rest of it but you'll be meeting all of them soon all right thanks a lot guys talk to you soon